journey on how a publisher's book becomes a library book starts with a weekly budget meeting. Everyone that has a role in the decision making comes together. Ron Lusick explains the budget. Ron works closely with Leovi in support services. Meet Elaine Plotkin and Bill Jarvis. This is Linda Rima. She's our acquisitions librarian. Stephanie Boardman selects for children's. Michael Saperstein selects AV and digital content. Kathleen Green selects for the young adults. Kara Lee selects for adults, continuations, and databases. Here Stephanie Boardman explains that summer reading is very taxing on the children's collection and budget increase may be in order. Ron gently explains the budget situation but is able to come up with some money to help support the children's collection during summer. Ron carefully examines budgetary needs and makes exacting decisions on how the budget should be spent. Bill Jarvis looks content with his portion of the pie. Elaine is able to purchase for adults with her funds. Stephanie is scraping up the remainder of her money. Michael Saperstein gets a large cut of the portion because ebooks are very expensive. The teens and tweens will be happy. Support Services needs to retain some money, and Carol Lee can continue on with her continuations. Poor Ron. He's left with no more budget. Linda is happy though because all the money comes back to her department for acquisitions. Looks like Ron's pockets are empty. It must be the end of the fiscal year. Now the process begins. Featured here is Elaine's process. Know that Stephanie, Michael, Kathleen, and Carol all participate in similar processes in their area of expertise. Elaine takes reviews into consideration. She uses the Houston Chronicle, iPage reviews and purchase suggestions, of course you'd be silly if you didn't check with Oprah. She uses the New York Times bestseller list and when all else fails, her magic eight ball will guide her decisions. Looks like all signs point to yes. Elaine also selects the gift titles. When all is said and done, she works with Bibs Online ordering tool from Brodart to get her purchase lists generated. There is also support staff to help. Meet Susanna Pena, Linda McCollum, Scott McCuller, and Van Ath, who fills in the gaps with interlibrary loan. Once the lists are generated, Elaine walks her well-beaten path to Linda's office. Linda also uses Bibs by Brodart, but in another way. She authorizes the record for purchase and connects the Bibs record with Horizon. We all know the item status of on order. Well, that's all thanks to Linda and her crew. Meet Ramon, played here by Gwen Jones. Ramon is the acquisitions clerk. This is Gwen Jones, played by Gwen Jones. She is the accounting clerk. You'll meet Tiffany Francis soon. Yay, the big brown truck arrived with our title. The title is received into the loading dock. This is Tiffany Francis. I promised you would meet her later on. Tiffany is the acquisitions clerk and she welcomes the new titles into the library. Usually our titles are very happy to see us because they know they will no longer be publishers books but they will soon become circulating library books. Art books. 
Tiffany goes through them and checks the packing slip to ensure that what we ordered is what we received. There are several thousands of titles that come past this process on a weekly basis. You're all familiar with the status of Received in Ordering Department? Well, this is how it happens. Now it's Bill's turn. You all remember Bill Jarvis from the budget meeting. Bill is over cataloging and processing. You have to be very detailed to be a cataloger. Cataloging records come from a variety of sources. Here Bill will use his specialized skills to find the exact record for our title. No such luck. Don't worry, Bill will look elsewhere. All right, looks like Bill found the proper record. He has to update the title information and ensure that the record is accurate so that when we search in our catalog, we're able to find these library materials. The ISBN checks up, we're good to go. It's barcode time! Items get a barcode on the outside. This makes it for easy scanning for our patrons and for our library staff. There's also an additional barcode that goes on the inside in case the one on the outside gets damaged. Barcode is then scanned into Horizon. The record is updated. And labels are made. Meet the Zebra Z4M machine. That's a cataloger's best friend. It's a highly complicated machine. This book looks like the location code is to Bear Creek. She'll be very happy there. Next phase is meeting Anthony Phillips. Anthony is over processing. Anthony adds the additional bibliographic label on the inside of the cover. Anthony also adds the spine label so that we know where to put the book when it arrives at the library. Look at all those carts. This is the processing area at Admin. Many of you have walked past it before, but weren't quite sure what actually goes on in that space. Let's take a closer look. Sometimes there's a lot of hand processing that can go into the AV collection. Here, a DVD printed case is being fitted to be able to be circulated in the library. Gifts and DVD sets or AV sets are also processed. as a system to catalog our trade paperbacks. 
There's a lot that goes into this process, and we process a lot of trade paperbacks. Next, you'll meet Martha. Martha processes for children. Hi, Martha. Martha is processing brand new Star Wars early readers. This is Sheila. Sheila processes for adults. Meet Hong. She processes for young adults. Look at those shiny new Meg Cabot paperbacks. Meet Donna Solomon. She is one of two assistant catalog librarians. The books are sorted by branch, placed in those blue delivery tubs, and await patrons to check them out. This patron looks interested. Meet Reggie. He's one of our drivers. And Miguel. From everything to the budget meeting, to acquisitions, to receiving, to cataloging, to processing, now our title is driven and ready for her big moment at the Bear Creek Library. Don't worry, Reggie and Miguel are experts. They'll get her there safely. Back at the branch, she's checked in and placed on the new bookshelf. One of our patrons spots the book and wants to check her out. Our friendly circulation staff is happy to help and tells the patron that our book is due back in two weeks. The patron happily leaves with her brand new library book. Don't worry, we will see her back in two weeks. But shh, don't tell her about the book drop. 